Greetings, fellow explorers of the mind. Today, we're embarking on a journey into the realm of controlled reverie, a technique that Neville Goddard often emphasized in his teachings. This technique is a powerful tool for accessing and influencing your subconscious mind, the seat of your beliefs, habits, and creative potential. It's about consciously entering a state of deep relaxation and focused attention, where you can plant the seeds of your desires and watch them blossom into reality. Imagine a state where your conscious mind takes a back seat, allowing your subconscious mind to step into the spotlight. This is the essence of controlled reverie, a state of relaxed focus where you can bypass the critical filters of your conscious mind and directly access the vast potential of your subconscious. It's a bridge between your inner world and your outer reality, a gateway to manifesting your desires. While controlled reverie shares similarities with meditation and hypnosis, it has its unique characteristics. Meditation often focuses on clearing the mind and achieving a state of stillness, while controlled reverie involves actively engaging with the subconscious mind through visualization and suggestion. Hypnosis typically involves a deeper state of subconscious receptivity, while controlled reverie allows for more conscious awareness and control. The benefits of controlled reverie are far-reaching. It can help you overcome limiting beliefs, release negative emotions, and cultivate empowering habits. It can enhance your creativity, boost your confidence, and accelerate your personal growth. It's a tool for self-discovery, transformation, and manifesting your desires. Let's dive deeper into this technique. Neville Goddard often highlighted the importance of the subconscious mind in shaping our reality. He explained that everyone is governed by the same psychological laws that influence a hypnotized subject. We are all susceptible to the power of suggestion. In controlled reverie, we leverage this power to consciously direct our subconscious mind towards our desired outcomes. Goddard emphasized that suggestions have a profound impact on our subconscious mind, especially when our objective senses are subdued. In controlled reverie, we enter a state where our conscious mind is relaxed, allowing our subconscious mind to become more receptive to suggestions. This is where we can plant the seeds of our desires and watch them take root. Goddard described controlled reverie as a hypnotic state where the conscious mind is subdued and the subconscious mind is exposed to direct suggestions. He explained that anyone who is not objectively aware of you is in a profound hypnotic state relative to you. This highlights the potential for influence and transformation that exists within the realm of the subconscious. In controlled reverie, visualization is a key technique for directing your subconscious mind. Goddard suggested mentally representing the subject of your desire as if they had already achieved the desired state. This involves mentally speaking to them, congratulating them, and seeing them in the desired state. This mental affirmation sets in motion the forces that will manifest your desire in reality. Goddard emphasized the importance of unwavering belief in the process of controlled reverie. He stated that incredulity on the part of the subject is no hindrance as long as you are in control of your reverie. Your belief in the desired outcome is what fuels the manifestation process. To effectively influence the subconscious mind, Goddard suggested visualizing the subject of your desire and imagining hearing their voice. This establishes contact with their subjective mind, opening the channel for your suggestions to take root. Goddard highlighted the importance of mental conversations in controlled reverie. He suggested imagining the subject of your desire telling you what you want to hear, further solidifying the desired outcome in your subconscious mind. Goddard also emphasized the need for complete conviction in your mental conversations during controlled reverie. Any doubt or disbelief will hinder the process, as your subjective mind will only transmit your fixed ideas. Only fixed ideas can awaken their vibratory correlates in those toward whom they are directed.
Goddard cautioned against letting your imagination run wild during controlled reverie. He emphasized the importance of controlling your imagination, ensuring that your visualizations and suggestions are aligned with your desired outcome. If you don't control your imagination in the reverie, your imagination will control you. Goddard explained that whatever you suggest with confidence in controlled reverie becomes law for your subjective mind. Your subconscious is obligated to objectify what you mentally affirm. This highlights the immense power of controlled reverie in shaping your reality. Not only does the subject execute the state affirmed, but he does it as though the decision had come of itself, or the idea had originated by him. Goddard stated that control of the subconscious is dominion over all. By mastering the art of controlled reverie, you gain control over your beliefs, your habits, and ultimately, your destiny. Each state obeys one mind's control. Control of the subconscious is accomplished through control of your beliefs which in turn is the all-potent factor in the visible state. Imagination and faith are the secrets of creation. To practice controlled reverie, find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Sit or lie down comfortably, close your eyes, and take a few deep breaths. Relax your body one muscle at a time and focus your attention on your breath. As you inhale, imagine breathing in relaxation. And as you exhale, imagine breathing out tension. Once you feel deeply relaxed, visualize your desired outcome. Feel the joy and happiness that comes with it and hold this image in your mind for as long as you can. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes. Be patient and persistent in your practice of controlled reverie. It may take time to master this technique but the rewards are well worth the effort. Believe in your ability to achieve your goals and maintain a positive attitude throughout the process. As we bring this exploration of controlled reverie to a close, I invite you to ponder the immense power you hold within your own mind. Controlled reverie is more than just a technique. It's a key that unlocks the door to your subconscious mind the treasure chest of your deepest desires and limitless potential. Remember the words of Neville Goddard, control of the subconscious is dominion over all. By mastering the art of controlled reverie, you're not just controlling your imagination, you're shaping your reality. You're taking the reins of your beliefs, your habits, and your destiny. Friends, controlled reverie is a journey of self-discovery, a path towards realizing your full potential. It's about aligning your conscious desires with the creative power of your subconscious mind, allowing your dreams to blossom into reality. If this exploration has resonated with you, please show your appreciation by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with others who might find it helpful. And if you're eager to delve deeper into the teachings of Neville Goddard and explore more tools for personal transformation, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the realm of controlled reverie. May you harness the power of your subconscious mind to create a life filled with joy, abundance, and fulfillment. Until next time, may you dream big, visualize with clarity, and manifest your desires with unwavering belief.